So Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent is a decent film. Tiffany Haddish and Ike Barinhole were not needed in this film. It's harsh to say, but there wasn't enough for them to do. Like this seemed so forced. I don't want to be harsh. I like Tiffany Haddish, but there wasn't much for her to do. And this role was forced. But here's the thing. She seems to be winging it. She's not preparing for these roles. She's showing up and giving stale comedic timing. It's as if she doesn't do any backstory on characters because in this role as a government agent, she wasn't believable. Nick Cage and Pedro Pascal were funny. They had really great chemistry. I, <sighs> Tiffany's role, this B story just seemed unnecessary. The jokes were really dated and dry and stale. Now here's the thing, Tiffany is about to play Flojo, so she's, she can't wing it anymore. Like she's got a dozen project, upcoming projects. I think she's gonna have to start deep diving into backstory and really inhabiting these characters because she's showing up as the same character in all of these projects and it seems like she's winging it. I think Tiffany did fantastic last year in the card counter and um, here today. She did good in those projects. They weren't extraordinary roles, but she did good. But she's got a dozen projects coming up in 22 and 23 that's going to call for some, some heavy lifting. Like these are meaty roles that she's going to be diving into. Uh, especially playing Flojo, which she's perfectly cast for. So I just hope that she really digs into these roles so that she's taken more seriously.